week two of physical distancing, sheltering at home in Inuvik, Northwest Territories. So Colin and I head back to work at the hospital at the end of the week. The boys are likely going to be heading back to the daycare. They're opening it up for kids of essential workers. And we're feeling very fortunate to have jobs, have our house, have a nice home with a yard to socially isolate in. This is quarantine at the Phelps household. So I came back from a hike and I found this beautiful bird and I thought I just had this sudden admiration for it. And I was like, I have to build this bird a grave. It's like there was this feeling inside me. And so I, I like buried the bird here and made this beautiful like, gravestone statue. I think it should show the beauty of this bird on the outside. I am Beatrice Adele McMurtry. I am seven. Yes, I am seven. It is the age of reason. <laughs> Isolation day. I'm not sure. My work is in getting people outside and immersed in nature to promote healing and well-being and it's really easy to just get stuck in this kind of sedentary life and, and the more you sit, the more you want to sit. And so I'm really trying to use exercise as a way to keep myself um, up, I guess. And so tonight I decided it's so beautiful out. You can see the sun is setting. Um, I decided to try to run up to Signal Hill. Uh, I'm really just trying to encourage others uh, to recognize the impacts that not being outside is having on our culture and society at these times. And just um, to acknowledge how important it is to spend any amount of time outdoors. So one of the saving aspects for me um, in this weird new reality where it's just Gustav and I all the time um, is our daily outings, which really kind of adds some semblance of normalcy and structure to life. Within these walks, it's really important to not only kind of be out in nature, but to really get close to nature and be around water to help kind of, I don't know, clear out some of the emotional chaos that is around us. A lot hasn't changed for me in the sense of my uh, chronic illness and really this is one of my most comfortable places. And I've really been thinking a lot lately about how for all those people who are disabled, living in isolation, in their homes, that the whole world kind of opened up during these times. There's so many events to attend online, so many things, can't even keep up. But what's really, really amazing about that is a whole new world opened up for a lot of people who have wanting wanted to be included for a long time. And so as we move through this time and we are able once again to come together, I really hope this work continues, the reaching out far and wide to those of us who can't always attend things it's brilliant, really. Hello, everyone. This is Ryan Murdoch in Harley the Boston Terrier Davidson in Victoria, British Columbia. We're having a great day. It's sunny again. All the plants are out. Everything is green in every other color. So thankful to be in British Columbia, Victoria, Vancouver Island. So thankful I'm spending this time here, these strange times. I'm thankful for this whole experience because it gives me an opportunity to do some things I don't otherwise have time for. 
do some art and work on some other parts of my life, make videos. So 80% of the time I'm just so excited. I'm saying this is amazing and maybe like 20% of the time I'm saying oh my god this is crazy what do I do with all this time. On the whole it's very positive but I do really have to stay on top of managing my time and my outlook on things. I do have some lonely moments on Friday and Saturday night kind of feeling alone missing my friends wish I were dating kind of have a small little world I'm living in here but for the most part really enjoying it resting my body doing hobbies contacting old friends hope you all are good wherever you are whatever you're doing making the most of the time and finding some long forgotten part of yourself so my kitchen is something I've been meaning to work on for quite a while and just haven't had the time to dedicate to it. Having a project to really dive into and um, something that I can look forward to working on every day when I get up um, in the morning has been super helpful. Okay, we're done. I screwed all the doors back on, put on some new knobs, and it looks like a totally new space. Well, we're going on week 13 of online teaching, and today is the first day we're allowed back in our schools. So, I'll be online teaching from work. Hello, Mr. Mark. Hi. Uh, I can send you the video. Amazing. For the art unit, was it hard or was it easy? Pretty hard, but I did it. Awesome. What I've done is um, created a SoundCloud account uh, of me reading children's stories. One of the stories that uh, I'll be recording in the next couple weeks is this one, The Tree That Grew to the Moon by Eugenie Fernandez. It's an old favorite. <clears throat> Let me take some water. Lena took the tree into the shower to cool it off. The baby tree liked the shower. Then Lena planted the baby tree in a bag of dirt in the middle of her room. Maybe you shouldn't plant it in there, said Mother. Why not, said Lena. What could happen? I wonder. Tune in to hear the rest. I don't know how long we're going to be inside, but in the meantime, this is uh, this is how how we do it. We rise to the challenge. <laughs> 